In this video, we'll take a minute to talk about how to change the design policy of a stack and how that's slightly different than a fuselage component. So if we click on cross-section order, switch to loop, notice that the last cross-section back here is now enforced to be right here at the beginning or the zero cross-section. Now that's different than a fuselage because you might remember from the presentation about fuselage design policy, what it does is it takes the first cross-section and enforces it to be all the way at the end. And that's because fuselage is trying to maintain its design length, so it's kind of based on the endpoint that you set. A stack doesn't have that restriction, so you may as well take the last section and put it at the origin of the part. Now the nice thing about this is that when you come into the cross sections, you can still shift in delta x and everything moves along with it, but this last cross section you'll notice is completely grayed out. So it's automatically computing whatever delta x, y, z rotation will make it exactly coincident with this cross section. Now with a combination of skinning and placing cross sections, you can make something relatively simple like a nozzle very quickly. So you might think that your zero cross section is this opening here, and then you have some original outer diameter, an outer diameter down at the exit, an exit inner diameter, and then cross section four is again this circle. So by going into the skinning controls and setting up these angles to try and maintain the shape, which there are presentations on how to do that in the skinning chapter, you can get something that's watertight, smooth, and hollow, so you can create your own custom flow-through components of any geometry. So if you start using things like an edit curve cross-section and a looped stack, you can make these really interesting shell shapes. So that's how you can alter a design policy for a stack from a free to a loop design policy. And remember that the last cross-section is going to be enforced at the zero cross-section.